Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Mm. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> Oli kolmi sormis mai, oli reikä rauta brown. Ja tapahtuma paikana oli Jackson Willie Town. My dear Arthur, huh? I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. Uh -huh. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Oh. Oh. You're leaving me, huh? So, yeah, we'll leave this there. What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault to Darky White. Oh, well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty-faced streak of piss! Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <laughs> That's an incredible okay. temple. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister, I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No. Damn manners. Bounty hunting bastard. Pärjestä oli ihan hyvät palakkiot. Jeff, show me. 
single thought. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, hey there, you're Mr. spreading lies. Lies? Nice. Avery Fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darky killed a white man. Jimmy Holdaker had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. Do you call me a gossip? Hey there, partner. Hello there. Että pitäisi tän tien varrella kaikki. Mä tossa. Se jostain syystä jäänyt mulle. Ainakin kun mä kävin tässä, kun ei ollut tehtävä. Hey, friend. Hello. How was it in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free for you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. <laughs> Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. Niinpä tietysti jatkaa riitelyä ja yhdessä olemista. Ääni tää oli se.
suolla joutuu tekemään näin tiet. Maalia vaan suohon. Tien pohja voi olla aika vetelää kyllä. Oho. Siinä on. Pikku seisoo tien. Jotka poi vanne ja mies on takia. You got my money? It's it's for a very good cause. My name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps you've heard of me. Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Maybe you've read about me. Ah, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well that's too bad. Oh, yes. You got my money? Oh well, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. Creepers, excellent nonsense. Now you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to the most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so so humane. What are you talking about? Bye. Electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity and quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a a demonstration, a public one. Huh? Do you know the police chief? As well as anyone. Wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Tola ei kuhullu tyyppi joka luottaa paimisia sähköllä. Ei mitenkään onnistus. Se ei toimi, niin vaan voidaan pois sitä päähän. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Ah, oh, the Macavity. Sir, Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. That's in an act. Stop. He's cares to the worst. Don't hurt him, please. We'll be at the cathedral. Excuse me. That's not. Got to play it. You little bastards! Oh, you all right? Oh, how the kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. 
Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Okay, niin se jätti sen lastin tohon no. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey, What? I know you. This is Downs? Oh no, not you. Get away. How? Now, I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, well, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. Yeah, I'm. Len Solid Snake. Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I I he's fine, fine, physically. Mentally, <laughs> he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Yeah, my reason not to sell a hella. Hey, Antinen, to the first one, I don't have to put it down, like, on a long time. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Kuka näyttää maalaiselta? <laughs> Pidän nyt paremmat vaatteet, niin pistää päin. Arthur! Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Mm. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> He's I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter. And wanting better for her than, than, than me. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is, well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies, and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. 
Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. A fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me, you head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He 
went around the corner. Arthur, drop back a bit or he'll see you. Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing, insult. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! About the muscle. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Good luck. You could have cleared you up on you up on a bit. So I didn't know realize house, but... I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Yeah. So you don't have to add Suku Hoppet. That is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not his to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that, don't you, Hey, you, Ashton, hold her. God damn it. Get back here. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. God damn it. You stop right now. This list of Takaya.
Did Gillis put you up to this? Tätä miehelle vähän kauhua. Wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna this. Okay. Let's take a look at the city. This is what we
your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Huh? It's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. <laughs> well, pointy. That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. The greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a proprietor or not. Are you in of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled? Hey, no, guess that. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire! Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three. If no, you have a cell phone, I'm going to have to do it. labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss. Robin Koninsky! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Say, come with me in the parlors and brothels of Saint Denis. Oh, no. 
Perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Let's go, Catherine. Äiti ei opettanut, että ei saa tulella leikkiä. Oh, and 
enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! <laughs> Incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. That's me, Anakin Hauska. My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? 
got a lot of you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will once I get some money. I had some. Then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. A black butter is for hot. I'll write you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing anything.